Greetings listeners and viewers. Your host for the night, Zach, here introducing you to The Call, the Call of Cthulhu podcast by Twisted Gear Studios. If you haven't seen our recent social posts, this might be a bit of a switch. If you're on YouTube, you may now notice that there is video. Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, we'll be premiering episodes with live chat, and one hour later, the audio-only versions will be going up on the usual places. So if you are audio-only, now you know that there's some interaction with us that can occur in real time. A big shout-out to our donators over on Ko-fi for making this possible. Lastly, keep an eye on our webpage and socials for announcements to the merch shop later this month. But for now... Last we left our investigators. Having found the body they were looking for, it has become clear that they are not the first to arrive here. Nor are they alone. Um, so it's been a little bit since we last played. So a little bit of a recap. Um, behind the hospital. <laughs> I don't think I specified. I might have. We'll see. Um, but in that same sort of large group of buildings that are all around was the morgue. Um, the coroner's office connected to the morgue, whatever you want. Um, and then there was a connection point between, and the crematorium was actually a separate building, if you will. Um, there was a couple of interesting things as Agatha was trying to figure out how it would work, and she was looking through manuals of, like, toasters and stuff. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. And... <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus! <laughs> actually, I didn't mean... I just meant the small appliance. Yeah. <laughs> what was I going to go with? Toaster oven? Uh... <laughs> Everything burns! <laughs> <laughs> this poor bastard's toast, what can I say? <laughs> anyway. Uh. I got more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you do. So, with. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And anyway, <laughs> but you ended up, um, Amos Nalthea, um, ended up going inside of the morgue itself. They managed to track down mm. the body with the toe tag. Um, for... Yeah, that's skipping a lot. <laughs> Dead bodies and shit. Well, that... I was Even also going to bring up that... Uh, that weren't supposed to be there. There you go. <laughs> There's a red card, isn't there? It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> but either way, um, when you tried to move from the morgue area into the admin part mm. of the building, there was a dead body. Right. Uh, against the door. As soon as you noticed that you close it, there was no, you know, like, checking to see well, anything to do with that. Um... So last, I believe when we last finished, give me one second. Jesus. <laughs> so I believe when we last finished, um, Althea was pushing the stretcher out through to, to get to the connecting door yeah. to go across to the crematorium. You were walking in front of the stretcher with your sidearm out. Yep. Okay. Um, because at the same time, outdoors parked between the two buildings was the Packer Twin Six, the Packer Twin Six, <laughs> the Packer Twin Six. Um, with Agatha trying to hide her Lee Enfield, <laughs> was sitting in the seat and with the door open and you know loading, cleaning, doing whatever. You Making sure it was ready. Making sure it was ready. It's always ready. Kathleen's always ready. Um, and Marion was standing by the door, talked to you, and just out of nowhere from the side of the building stepped out a figure dressed uh, mostly in black um, with camo and stuff on, so the high facial features, stuff like that, um, and seemed to shoot something. Um, to be fair, I never specified last game, but it's sort of, from your quick vantage point, you, you would have noticed it looked more like a flare gun than an actual gun. Okay, look more like a, what you know, you understand. Shot with a trank dart. You've been shot with a flare. Everything but a bullet. I think this uh, was, if this was actually a flare, I would get burned. It's a dead, it's a dead flare. That could be a dead flare. I don't actually know how flares work other than fire. Fire. You you both dead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just good. Fire. <laughs> fire. What are you? Fire. Like weird Pokemon or something. <laughs> fire. 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 <laughs> Okay, anyway. Um, sorry. Um, and Marion was blasted to the ground. You, uh, you were hit in the shoulder. Um, you did make quite a hard check. And for you, that would be firearms. Right? You did make quite a hard check um, to be able to tell um, that it was a dummy round of some sort. Or you're assuming because you've never really heard of them, but there is no blood and you knew you were hit by something. Mm -hmm. And you were knocked to the ground. Agatha sitting in the vehicle 
all you heard was the sound of um, not as loud as a gunshot, but loud enough. Something that ignited. Well, it, yeah. yeah it, if you've ever been around. Something that went more like a right. loud pop. But you did hear it. And you see Marion drop. Yeah. So for you, you're not sure if she's dead, if for all, for, for, you know, your knowledge, she was shot. Yeah. Right? But you're not sure because you just sit in the vehicle. And you were coming out, and then we can jump in. Um, it is around 3 o'clock in the morning, give or take. Listen, we're all, our bodies Maybe. are all very aware. Right. Um, <laughs> you know it will take a little while to burn um, the body of said, well, I mean, you've only really looked at the feet. I'm going to start That's off. True. Well, the feet. Yeah, you looked at the toe tag. You didn't look at the face. No. Yeah, but the toe tag had the name. Yeah, but I should check was, the face. This was the body that was all. Uh, no. Oh, no, we had the the burnt one was at your place. We saw what the burnt one did. Yeah. <laughs> right. I got the I got the skeets mixed up. The tail of too many skeets. Yes. Skeet happens, man. Yeah. <laughs> glad you took the blame. <coughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It seemed like the conversation was being productive. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's always reductive. Fire! Yes. Just, just <laughs> fire! <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to start off with Althea and Amos. Okay. okay. Right? Yeah. Um, as Althea, you're pushing the stretcher. Yes. I mean, one person can push it. It is a little bit... Um, you're going down a straight hallway to double doors straight across in. It is harder to turn a stretcher if you had to. Like it doesn't. It doesn't have the like the rotating wheels on it. Well, it does, but I mean, if you've ever used a stretcher, it, it yeah, can be annoying with with a body on it pushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like it's overly difficult. No, I was just thinking about the spinning wheels and the but it's probably like the top. I don't need to be. You. I don't need <laughs> to be that exact. I mean, yep. Yeah. Sure, the story you're dragging along <laughs> some bamboo. <laughs> no, it's it's. it's, it's <laughs> oh, what the fuck! I, I just mean yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, and you're going in front, and you hear that sound as well. Now, around 15 feet in front of you, of course, is the double doors. Mm. Did the double doors have, uh, they, they had glass, like, windows to see through them? The yeah. ones outdoors didn't. Mmm, good! I, I'm pretty sure, I, I could be wrong, and if I am, retcon. But, um, I, I, I think the only glass in the windows was the frosted glass to the door to the admin right. side. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, there was also generators running outside in order to power. The, the, uh, the air conditioning, like the keep the bodies cold. Yeah, yeah. The different thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I, I I can hear the the bang from outside. Yes, you to can. the left, towards where the car is. So straight out is the side of the car, so it'd be to the right. To the right. Okay. Yeah, but you just hear the yeah a gunshot. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, I immediately stop and then halt you with the the gurney mm -hmm. and starts. I'm gonna ask for this. I guess I'm gonna spot hidden the rest of this hallway real quick before proceeding towards the doors. Okay, yeah, so it is sort of like this, um, maybe around a 10 foot wide. It's fairly wide hallway, uh, probably a bit less than 10, let's say eight. Um, eight five, 25, 30 minutes. So it's around eight, eight feet wide. Um, and you notice that there's colored lines, like color coding to go to different areas and stuff like that. Yeah, follow this if you wanna, you know, get shot. Um, that type of situation. Um, you can roll me a spot hidden. Um, Hate that. If you would like. I don't want to, but I want to see if there's anything in this hallway that's going to shoot me. Even if you get an excess, it doesn't mean you get a tick. Because if there is nothing to find. 16 out of 73. Yeah, so spot hidden. Um, you, I'm pretty sure halfway down the hallway, you're almost by the point there was the two doors in here as well. I believe they were opposite each other. Yeah. I don't believe you looked in them. We did not, know. Okay. Um, you, uh, 16 out of what? 73. Two points away from an extreme success. Okay, but it is a hard success. It's a hard, yeah. Um, you do notice something. Put a tick in spot hidden. I'm going to make something. <laughs> just so you get the tick. Fuck! Right, uh, right, right, right. Give me a Bye. good friend. Yeah, that's what he's being. Yeah. Good friend. Yeah. Bar. <laughs> <laughs> you notice what looks to be some kind of uh, darkish color liquid. Um, just, you know, the, the, uh, the bottom of the door, the space. So mm. as you're going out the door on the left, you didn't really notice it before, maybe, or, or something like that. And you didn't go into the rooms as far as I know, where you didn't go into both of the rooms. Um, but um, there seems to be like this uh, liquid on the floor. Now, there is like a, um, 
Yeah, it's just a dark liquid. Like, you'd have to get closer to inspect it. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to draw it to your attention there, Althea. Be like, did you hear that? The, the shot? Hard not to hear it. Also, and I kind of just point to the liquid point at the bottom of the door. It's either blood or it's the shit we're here to deal with. Does it look similar to the, the door where the body of the shot person was? Like, that yeah. similar kind of pooling? Yeah, it's not a lot coming out of this one at all, but there is there is a bit, um, and it looks like potentially you you'd have to get closer. You'd have to go check it. And now that I'm all paranoid, definitely not because of what Liz said earlier. I I, I want to check the door, but I'm gonna be like, kind of motion towards Skeet and be like, should we see his face? I, I guess so. We're on a we're on a very I'm going to let you look at that and I'm going to actually start making my way to the door so I can slowly peek out and see Okay, so you, I see where, you, go, back to, you go 15 feet down the hall to the double door. Fair? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Done. You are with the body mm-hmm. on the stretcher. It's not that far away. No, it's not. You could easily shoot Althea if you wanted to. <laughs> Listen, you have that like, option. To be fair, to be fair, yeah. when he said, you said if there's anyone in this hallway who's going to shoot me, I was thinking I'm probably the one in this hallway most likely to shoot you. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. The most scary thing you could do. Right. Well, I said, guess yeah. while he's doing that, I'm going to quickly <laughs> double check that we have the right body because we're on a very tight schedule and it's all 43 a.m. and I am tired a lot of things, but mostly what we're doing right now. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, at this point, I'm going to go outdoors, because a little bit of time passed since the yeah, gunshot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Marion, you're lying on the ground. And I'm going to start off with Agatha. Um, what is your immediate mm. reaction to that? Now, the figure that shot also just stepped back, like he's, the person stepped out, shot, and then went, you can't see the He went the around, back around the corner. Yeah, he just okay. seemed to just step back around the corner of the building. Um... Because I, I was sitting in the packer, but I had the door open. You did have the door open. So I'm going to go prone position, like lie and aim the gun at the corner where the guy, okay. my rifle. So you slide it onto the ground. Yes. You get into the prone <clears throat> position, and there's a space underneath the open door, and you're. Yeah, basically, right? so I'm using the door. And you're as watching cover. that figure. That. Yeah. Uh, Marion, what are you doing? A- as you see Agatha roll out and the alienist marine over there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm okay. Uh, alive, at least. What? Are, are, are you okay? Uh, I'm probably just very hyper-focused so at that recall. corner. Yeah, basically. Because okay. I, I also don't want him to know where I am to aim. I'm gonna roll over so I'm kind of lying on my stomach and look over to where mm-hmm. uh, Agatha is and just to check make sure that she is okay and not She's somehow. in kill mode! Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, okay. It's somebody. not okay. Total well, somebody domination. Somebody checked somebody was okay. Yeah. It's not okay. Um, your shoulder is really hurting. Okay. Like. And like just kind of feel it. Do I feel uh, I like I, I, from from I know from what you said before. I, I don't feel any blood. It didn't break the skin. No, not, okay. but it's like get, just like getting hit with a brick. Yeah, like it hurts a lot. It hurts to move. I mean, you're lucky that you're sh- like it didn't dislocate anything. Mm-hmm. Right, and nothing feels like it's broken. You're not entirely sure. Not Would you like to make a first aid check on yes. yourself on the ground? Yeah. Roll like, me a shoulder. first aid. <gasps> ow, 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 ow! I think it hurts. <laughs> Where is first aid? It's under F. Hmm. Apparently. Sorry, I sound like a there dick is. this episode. <laughs> I sound like a dick this game, I'm sorry. This game? Uh, 53 out of 44. Oh no. Um, so you're poking at it, and it's very similar to what uh, our friend Lindsay was doing, and, and uh, Zach was, was like, ow! What up? Ow! It works! Eek! Ah! Nothing's wrong with you're not, it. You're just not sure if there's any lingering damage, you just okay. know that it's... It, okay. It's yes. hurt. I got hit with a brick. Well, Mary and Fail in a roll. Ah. Mm. Bad luck, cursed dice! <laughs> the toppings are also cursed. <laughs> Sorry. It does seem so weird. Anyway. What is happening right Nothing. now? Nothing. Continue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, uh, but, other than that, I'm going to... I. How high off the ground is 
the Packer Twin Six. Like, I don't know enough about old cars, but I'm imagining how, like, I, I want to, what I want to try and do is roll so I'm under the car. Oh, you can get under the car. Okay, I'm going to do that. I don't care if historically you can or not. Yeah. Marion can do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to crawl under the car. Yeah, you just roll right in there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Under the car. Uh, which way do you want to be facing? Toward where the corner of the building? Yeah, toward where the where the gun. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Sure, not a problem. The shooter was. At this point, I can go right back to Amos, and I can go right back to Althea because that mm -hmm. not you didn't do anything that would. Yeah. Like if you would have shot off the Lee Enfield, then I would have had that happen while. Yeah. They were in there, but you didn't. Yeah. Um. So Amos and Althea, Amos, you go to the double doors. Althea, I'm gonna go to Althea now and just start off. You're there with. The stretcher, mm -hmm. and it's a, like a body bag. Yes. It's a body bag, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Um, not as we would consider them. It's more of a different fabric. You know, it's not like the black ones that. Yeah, it's more like they're, it's wrapped in a sheet or something. Well, it's a, it's a it's a body bag, okay. but it's just like a. Yeah. Anyway, it's not overly important. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What would you like to do? I'm going to check and see if it's skeet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> So you zip down, you know, as the head is fading, you know, yep. towards you. I know where the toes are, at least. Yeah. yeah. You uh, told me to check, man. I, I yeah, so I guess it is a bit more like sheep because the feet are. Anyway. Yeah. But you zip down a little bit, mm -hmm. and you pull it back, and you see um, Skeet's face. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so there's a couple of things that are going to happen at once. Okay. Okay. Um, Fuck! I'm gonna let it linger. I'm so glad. No, it's a couple. Of, it's a couple of things. It's, 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 it's just information. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have you rise tension right now. I'll save that for the silver toilet lodge. Um, if we get there. So the first thing was is you were shown by Vincent Caputo. Mm -hmm. You. You weren't shown by Vincent Caputo mm. the body in the trunk of her car. No, I wasn't. You weren't seen. You never saw the picture. No, only I saw. It was Marion. And Agatha and you, because yeah. you, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess you yeah. two are both. So you see, too, yeah. so I don't need to give you a comparison, but you see, um, uh, yeah, uh, Skeet's face. You do notice um, that a little bit above here, mm -hmm. uh, most of the head is gone, the top part. Um, it looks like, well, I don't mean it's like exploded, like a top, but a there top. was a really um, a powerful gunshot wound. Mm -hmm. That like broke the brain pan, okay. uh, fairly high on the head. Yeah. Um, and that was definitely the cause of death. Mm -hmm. You can tell that. Um, the body is even for forensic troll. Actually, no, I'm not giving you this oh, for free. Okay. Forensic troll. <laughs> I'm not giving you this for free. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> Two percent at a forty-one. My guy. In forensics. Let's go. <laughs> so two percent is an extreme success on forensics. So there is actually a little bit of information I'm going to give you. Um, the body is quite cold. Okay. Perfect. Not low. Colder than it should be. For the not perfect. Hmm? For the refrigerator. Yeah. Like it's. Um, you can tell like the consistency of the skin. Yeah. Is what my point is. Like the way the body is. Mm -hmm. um, for your professional opinion. Mm -hmm or just knowledge that it doesn't really look like a dead body that rigor mortis and everything has set in on. Okay. Or the slack features. Yeah. You know what I mean? It it looks like somebody's asleep, mm -hmm. but quite cold. Like the the, the muscles like and- Like flash frozen almost? Oh, almost. Yeah, I guess that would be it. Like you don't see icicles or anything. Yeah, but it's but frozen the, and- Yeah, but it's just, I, I don't know how else to, oh. to describe it. Okay. Is it's just, it's just mm -hmm. the body is different than a, another body in the same situation yes. that you've seen multiple times. Yes. Okay? okay, in that respect. Um, with the 2% on forensics, I'll also tell you that the gunshot wound mm -hmm. is from a Lee Enfield. You've seen these gunshot wounds before. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> um, or the know? same caliber mm -hmm. of a Lee Enfield. I should be clear. Okay. I should be clear. Well, the same, the same, same, same type of gun. It looks we like a similar know. type of wound a wound or that it would cause this okay um mostly it's more of a smaller than you'd imagine mm -hmm. um input and then a bigger yes <laughs> yeah which is yes. why the top yeah. of the skull yes. is mm -hmm. more broken open <clears throat> um yeah so a headshot from a same like a hunting rifle the same caliber that a lee enfield would be okay okay um 
Yeah. Okay. Um. The eye. Oh, um, you notice that the eyes aren't the eyelids aren't down. The Ooh. eyelids are up as well. Ooh. In actual life. Kind of and the eyes mm -hmm. aren't like glazed or off. The the eyes look creepily. Um, aware. Aware. Ah! Um, yeah, no, see, the see that? Like, indicate me skeletons all the live long. Sanity that check. Stuff does <laughs> what? Okay, you're gonna have to make a sanity check because you're looking at a dead body of somebody who's been shot in the head is apparently dead. The body is weird, but that once you notice the awareness in the eyes, it's gonna take you back a little bit. This is Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, that, this isn't Candyland. You even like, Janessa <laughs> would need a sanity roll for this. <laughs> Eighty-eight out of seventy-one. Okay, now. Basically, the way the sandy loss would work for look for this mm -hmm. is because it's not something that's going to overly drive you absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. It would, if you would have succeeded, it would have been zero sandy loss because you failed. It's one sandy loss. So it gives me the creepy crawlies. Basically. Yeah, you get one sanity loss. Hey. Yeah, oh, let roll a d hundred. You take no, that's not um, two sanity loss. Okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, can I? Can I? You're just like hmm? once I once I get over my kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. Can I, can I close the eyelids? <laughs> we'll get back to that. Um, so, Amy. Well, I hate that! <laughs> I hate that so much! <laughs> In a good way. Go on. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't kill me. It's fine. It's fine. Amos, you get to the double doors, and I believe you said you're going to slightly open them to look at. Yeah, just. Mm. Yeah, okay. Leaning against. You know, because it's one of those bars. You know what I mean? On this side, where you oh, can just. No, 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 no. I don't yeah, mean yeah. across, but I mean you, you click it in, and you can mm -hmm. open the door, and you. Lean out. Um, first things first. Um, as a casual peripheral vision, because I'm assuming you're looking at the direction that the noise came from, um, you see the Packard Twin Six parked there. I don't remember if it was running or not. Does anyone else? It was not. No. Okay, it was not running. Because we wanted to be as silent as possible. Fair yep, enough. That's correct. Um, you, you just on your peripheral vision, you notice that the car, the Packard Twin Six door is open. Right. Okay. The, the driver's yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Um, you do not see Mary or Agatha. Period. You do not see them, right? The casual yeah, yeah, yeah. lines. Um, and you're looking off in direction, and what you see is, you know, the building goes off to a corner, square building, and then, you know, a road, and across the road's the hospital, and pile of windows. Let's not forget, it is a hospital. Um, but you don't see anything. You know what I mean? That yeah, would can I do a, do a listen check to hear if there's anything that's like maybe maybe standing behind the door and some gravel getting kicked or uh, something. Roll me a listen check. Roll me a listen. Check. <clears throat> I don't want us to push this gurney through and just be like, surprise! There's a guy there. Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, listen. <clears throat> I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Ride. The that's gurney. exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> listening. Uh, 69 out of 78. Okay. Um, you can put a t tick and listen. Uh, 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 yeah, you can put a tick and listen because you don't really hear anything. You know, you, you hear the wind and stuff like that. Um, you don't hear what you do hear is um, the sound of movement on the ground, like the sound of, of uh, movement on the other side of the Packard Twin Six. Okay, like a little, you, yeah, yeah. You, a little bit of movement, like, um, but that's about it. Like a little bit of dirt moving and stuff, like you know what I mean. Just a that—that's what you hear. I mean, yeah. More of a rustle than a footstep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then from this that point, I'll turn. I'll kind of let the door close a little bit. Then I'll turn back towards Althea and kind of uh, motion her to come up, so we can get ready to then go to the next across the hall. And as you do that, and you look back at Althea, Althea has the body bag open at the head, and you see her. Bringing her fingers down. What are to, you doing? To touch the body. Mm -hmm. Close the eyelids. Okay, and touches the body, and you know, and you can tell you're only 15 feet away that she's closing the eyelids of the body. Put, putting I, the eyelids I, of the body. If I see her about to reach and touch <laughs> it, I'm actually going to try and get up and run to the bag. I'm just going to zip. I want to try and see if I can get to the bag to zip it closed before she touches. No, me. no, you're, you're, no. I she, mean, I'm going to try. I know I'm not going to make it, but that's what he would immediately <laughs> begin doing. So he's in, getting up, standing, and moving towards nah, process. I, yeah, you. I'm just. 
But I'm not gonna. Go, I'm not gonna it. ask for a check for this because yeah, I'm not gonna you're, make you're it. not. You're not. No. That that, that fast. Gonna bite me. But what happens yeah. is is Amos immediately. You you hear movement because he turns and starts mm-hmm. moving in your direction. But I mean, you're you're right there. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you uh, try to pull down the eyelids. Yeah. And just an, and I'm assuming you're, it's the regular. You're not putting any real. No, it's on what it. anyone would do to like close and. And they don't go down. Or whatever. Like you can't. They. They won't go. They don't. I mean, uh, you're not putting really any force on it. It's just because it shouldn't take much force. You would just close it, but like they're not going down. But the eyelids are still there. Yeah, oh yeah, the eyelid, eyelids are still there, but it's like the mu- like the, this is what I mean. The body's frozen, but it's not like a normal body that you can alter. You realize as you touch it, it's like fucking stone. You, the, the way it's frozen. Like, it's not... It's like <clears> petrified? <throat> almost, person? yeah. yeah al- almost. It feels like stone, almost. Um, it's quite cold. And, like, you know, touch a cheek, it doesn't sink in. It's solid. But the creepy thing is, is as you touch the oh, eyelids, no, try to pull down, and you look down, you see the eyes Ooh. focus on you. <gasps> Nope, 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 nope. You see the eyes focus on you. Sanity check. I'll freak out a little bit. Yeah, that's Yeah. (laughs) I know, but I mean, I don't use sanity checks as much as I possibly should, and this is a short period of time. Did you fail again? You four out of 70 now. (laughs) Once again, I will give you the benefit of the doubt, and let's all give a round of applause to Althea. 69 sanity! Yeah! The what gift the that, fuck? It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you lose one more sanity. Never thought I'd be so unhappy about a 69. <laughs> and I'm assuming... <laughs> <laughs> why am I the only one that thinks that's this funny? Oh, uh. Why am I the only one that thinks that's this funny? It's because he has fuck. listened to it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fire. 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 Why is that the thing that everyone's still giggling about? That was bad. I'll take it. Anyway, I'm funnier than an awkward 69. Let's go. What the fuck? It is pretty funny to see, isn't it? We do this because we're secretly dying on the inside. Yes. This is what is called a red card. <laughs> I have to explain this now. I hold this up. And if they're doing some role playing or something like that, um, that means they will finish their their what they're saying. Like they're, I'm not going to cut them short. They'll finish that part. Then they're going to stop, and I'm going to jump in with something. It is also used in these cases where I'm very subtly holding this up to tell them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. I mean, normally we we would laugh about this for like the next hour. Like it would yeah. literally be no progression yeah. of story. It's not me being, you know. Jokes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like okay, the calls it episode. Yeah, yeah, we're all about. Yeah, we're just gonna progress a little. I wasn't really <laughs> mean, but it was quite fun. All right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, ha- like we're in a hallway, right? Yes. So I would do that thing where you know when you see someone lurch back, and I'm like, up, put my back against the wall, like, like the wall catches me as I back away from the, from the. Structure. Yeah. And then you get to the stretcher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You grab the zipper. Don't even look at the body. Grab the zipper and I zip it shut. Okay. Not even acknowledging it, but looking at her unless something mm-hmm. happens. No, we're good. Cool. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm just going to retcon something really quick. Um, we don't need to fix it, but it's because, um, once again, no, no, it's fine. But it's this idea where I had you check the toe tag, which means it wouldn't have been in a body bag. Or did I... Anyway, it's not overly important. It's not okay, overly important. It's not a body bag that has two zippers. Done. Well, it could be a zipper tag, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's, that's the way it'll be. That's the way, yeah, just, sure. I don't know why that would matter. They could matter. have put the toe tag over the It's not important. We've talked about it too much already. I've already made it awkward. Um, <laughs> we, will, we will. I zip it up, and I'm like, what What the Yeah, so you, you zip it up. Yeah, and there's no issue. You just fully I, zip it up. I look back as if I'm going to double check it, but was it, was it skied? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes is fine. What's wrong? It looked it looked it looked it looked at it looked at my hand. It's a dead body. It's no. kind of blankly no. looking. No, 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 no. No. It looked at my hand as it moved. I will slowly raise my gun up towards the body bag. Mm-hmm. 
It's, it's, this isn't, this is, okay. Burn I, it. I, I, burn it. Right now. Say, Let's go. Come say, on. Uh, Let's burn the thing. Okay. I, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, it, okay. And I'm gonna skip go and I'll take the end of the gurney. Holding very tightly. <clears throat> I would like you to make an. I would like Amos to make an idea roll. Oh God! And I would like Althea to make an idea roll, but with a penalty die, okay. because you have failed a couple of sanity checks. Um, well, I'm not going to pass that one. That's a hundred percent. We'll get back to that because that is a fumble. Yeah, yeah you're going to have an idea, but it's not going to be a good. Yeah, one. <laughs> that's a one hundred percent. That would be oh, great I in think, any other context. I got forty on both of my d my percentiles, oh. so forty three out of. 70. Oh, okay. That's fair impressive. Enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um, so, Althea, even in your state of a little bit of shock, a little bit of sanity loss, mm -hmm. of seeing something otherwise quite creepy and different, mm -hmm. um, you realize that something else you were going to be looking for here was um, you were told that in the trunk of the car, the figure was in ropes. It was another robe. That would have been here as well. Oh, does, that, does, everyone remember, does everyone remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, Okay, so there's that. Now, I'm not saying you have to do that. There's no imperative, but that does jump to your mind. Mm -hmm. It's, oh, robes. Wait a minute, it was wearing robes. Okay. It was wearing robes similar to the Silver Toilet Lodge. Yeah, because... And it has a gunshot wound in the head. I'll let you stew over that for a minute. And, uh, but we're going to go to... We're going to we're gonna go to Amos. Uh-huh. Um, with your 100%. Um, actually, there's not much I can do with this fumble because it's, it's like. If I'm gonna fumble, I'll take that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, actually, I mean, you got 100% an idea roll. You start thinking maybe we should burn it here, but that doesn't seem <laughs> the I like, appropriate like, response. I like grab it lighter. I'm like, can't. Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you, you basically with an idea roll of 100%, I'm gonna say you seriously consider plugging some bullets into the body. The it is, but you don't. Mm, that tracks. Right? But it just right. pops into your head. It's an idea. <clears throat> oh, I could shoot it nope. a few times. Wait a minute, that, that's a bit that's a bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <clears throat> uh um the, the, no, the bag hasn't moved at all or anything. Like there's been no other no other We gotta. We have to take this into the furnace. Come on, let's go. Okay. Yep. That's oh, oh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh! I haven't. I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Um, I don't want to open the bag again. Can we? Can we walk and talk? Can we walk and talk? Can you push the gurney while I do something? You want me to leave the gurney and push the gurney at the same time? You got a gun? You can pull it with you, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I just we need to look at the toe tag. I'm I'm wondering if I would know if they would take any, because. For like autopsy purposes or anything else, because I assume there would be an autopsy if they would take the belongings anywhere else and store them. Being who you are, I mean, as a as a coroner, mm -hmm. really, or like a Corner's as a assistant. contracted. No, no, you're not a coroner's assistant. Mm. You are like contracted freelance. as a consult freelance. <laughs> um, bodies in the Packer Twin Six people. <clears throat> uh, there's been worse back there. It's a hobby. Um, yeah. It's a hobby. That. Just you saying it, I can tell you that on the toe tag would be a number, and you can cross-reference that number in the storage room. You just don't know which room is the storage room. Okay. Um, but you just having that number is enough. Can we take the toe tag? The toe yeah, tag. you can even unzip it, and you take the toe tag off. Well, and you what about, with that, as we already talked about this, there's a tag on the outside of the bag. Would that not have that information? Uh, sure. We, Wherever we, the toe yeah, tag yeah, is. Yeah, that's fine. Pull the tag off. My the point bag. is that nothing would happen either way. Okay. In re in respect to this, so you get the tag. Mm -hmm. It's like a tag. I don't know. I was like, oh no, it's I a boat. Break the tag <laughs> off the bag and I hand it to all of you. Right. Yeah. So you um yeah. Right. So you have you have the number. This is my point. I'll you need to tag. know where the storage room is. I'll take the tag right now. That's a secondary thing. Yeah. I'll take the tag. And it would be in this building. And I'll put it in my pocket. In my pants pocket. Okay, not your okay, what? not your sock pocket. <laughs> my pants pocket. Fair no, enough. I'm just saying I don't have like a jacket or whatever. Okay, it's in your to pants the door. <laughs> I know. You, I know. Yes. I, okay, I, I, we're moving the stretch. As we pass the black liquid coming out from underneath. Yeah, because you're almost right next to it anyway. When you when yeah you notice it. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of give it a cursory glance. Is it moving? Is it like reaching no. out to grab my ankle or something? No, 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 Thank it's not. And you, you see God. a little bit liquid. It doesn't even really look like it's moving. It's just that there is some liquid there that had moved to that point, but it's it's not moved out. You know what I mean? It's just a little bit of, you know, 
You'd have to get down and check it. That's not happening right now. By you, because I'm looking at Althea's face, and it is thinking. Her. I'm pulling the gurney because you're you, you're tearing <laughs> to touch it. <laughs> That's a thinking face. That's that was <laughs> a thinking face. <gasps> I stopped pushing the gurney. What the fuck? I I, I want to open the bag. I want to. We're gonna open the bag when we throw him into the fucking furnace. Oh right, yeah. You don't actually have to. You, you yes, we don't. The Why? Why the fuck do you want to... Can we not walk and talk about this? Do we have to open the fucking... Did it look like Skeet? Yes, but... Then we got the guy. But he had, he had a gunshot wound up on the top of his head that looked like it came from a Lee Enfield. Good, so then he fucking died. But so I he's know. dead dead. What I want to know is, how old is that gunshot wound? You really want to do an autopsy right now while the guy's thawing out when we're trying to... We have to get the fuck out of here? Also, I don't see Mary and Ragatha anywhere outside. And we just heard a gunshot. Some things we may just not know no, about. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Listeners this, aren't going to like that one. Yes, <laughs> I want to know. Yes, I want to know. Do you, were you there uh, two days ago at your place when we looked at the other body that was burnt to shit in your basement? And you know what happened when you looked into that thing? That's right, you lost a staff member. If this thing is as old as before we went to Swell's Gullet, then this is the original skeet. No, no, you finish your thought, then stop. That, that, that literally hit you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking how. <clears throat> how long would it fucking take you, and what do you need to do to do it? I just need to know how old the wound is. <laughs> okay. Um, because at this point, you are spending a bit of time arguing. Yes. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it was a good thought, damn it! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> anyway, <so>. Fire! <laughs> the, the crematorium is on. Yeah, we no, we're just gonna just warm toss him in! Warm it up. That's still, a weird way to do it. Don't like, warm it! It's getting going, it's getting going. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna move outside. So, Agatha Fuck. and. Uh, Marion, um, after you're checking the wound, I'm assuming you're trying to be fairly quiet sitting mm -hmm. on the ground. Fair enough. Agatha, you're not really saying anything, you're just focused on the building. Yes. Oh, oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if I could do a spot hidden to see if there is an indication he's still around the corner. Okay, fair enough. Building. Fair enough. Uh, on another side note, players don't get red cards. <laughs> She could be yellow cards. Like, yeah, actually, like a song. But no. So, <laughs> I will and you know for a fact that's why he's got a red card. The man loves FIFA. I will allow you to make a spot hidden. Or I'm going to ask you to, not allow you. Ah, uh, 74 out of 69. So no. It's you have a 69 in spot hidden? <laughs> what is with all the 69s? <laughs> We're very happy people. I also have a 69 <laughs> spot hidden, just putting it out. <laughs> just putting it, putting it out there. So okay, okay, okay. Are welcome. You don't really notice um, anything. Other. And, you know, because the person stepped back behind a building, you don't have a vantage point to be able to see if somebody's there or not there. Fair. Um, there is that. I'm just wondering is, do you stay crouched waiting as time passes? How far is it from the position I'm in to the side of the wall, <clears throat> like the, of the corner that he's around? 20 feet, tops. It's 20 not, feet? It's not far from you. 20 wow. feet isn't very far. Not far. Okay. That is really close. Mm -hmm. That's, That's cool, I people. would want, I want to run against that wall, but keep the rifle trained at the corner. Fair enough. Um, it's like I'm, six, seven meters? Yeah, it's, it's not far. <laughs> okay. It's not far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. Yeah. Three people and change. <laughs> <laughs> the average person six feet high, I'm just saying. Is the average height six no, feet no. now? No, I don't think it's five nine. Like five nine. <laughs> That's just like a couple <laughs> inches up. I know, I'm six feet. It's just, three feet, three people just, to change. I just wanted to make you scream again. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. This is harassment. This is harassment. Yeah, it is, and I apologize. No, don't, don't do this, kids. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this. I just scream a lot, okay? I'm sorry. Nah, it's all good. It's um, I'm not even gonna call for. <laughs> you want I love how you tried to hide it, even though you're recorded. Yeah. Um, I would. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that we're being videotaped sometimes. Uh, 
It's fine. It's fine. We're <laughs> we're all getting new to this new paradigm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Agatha, I'm not even going to call for a check for this. Okay. You just uh, quickly stand up and you run over to the wall okay. and you you know you're pointing it at the corner, um, not outside of the corner. Like no. it's not yet, no, but no. you're pointing it at the corner, so you're maybe around five feet from the corner, yeah. right? So it's only like a foot or two, and you're just trained there, waiting. As you get over to the building, you hear the sounds of um, what seems like a, a ruckus inside the hallway <laughs> of like uh, an argument of sorts. Okay. <laughs> um, you're not surprised or, or at all. No. Um, you quickly realize, even though it's you guys have only known each other for a relatively short period of time, that it is Amos and Althea arguing over something. <laughs> yes. You do get that? Yeah. You do get that. And if Althea was in your shoes now, she would realize right away that it's Agatha and Amos arguing about something. <laughs> On brand. Uh-huh. That tracks. Okay. okay. Um, so you're there, uh, Marion. You see Agatha get up, and do that, and you're just sitting down by the vehicle. Is there anything? Oh. I also hear the argument. You also hear the sounds of a. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to pick the thing. Ah! I see. <laughs> Sixty-nine. I mean, Amos is pretty quiet. Zach's loud as fuck. <laughs> and I, I, I see that Marion is now. Marion. I'm Marion. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is how our games go. (laughs) (laughs) You paid for a front row seat to this. Uh, (laughs) No, 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 continue. I I, I see see Agatha uh, against the wall, set and like ready with the gun and everything. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. (laughs) Okay, cool. So I'm going to uh, crawl out from under the, uh, the car and trying to be as quietly as possible, and I'll roll for that if, if needed, I'm gonna go to the door of the building that the arguing people are in. You're actively trying to be super quiet. I will allow you to roll a stealth roll. Okay. For sure. You didn't need to, because you were just running over. Like, it's not. And we're awesome. Ooh. So. 89 out of 47. Well, it's not a critical fumble. It is not. You have less than a 50 in the skill, so a yeah. critical fumble is 96 to 100, but you got an 87. 89. Eight, sorry. That's now it's a fumble! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 89's fine. I'm too honest. Mm-hmm. Um, so you make a bit of noise, and Agatha, you hear like dirt being kicked. It's gravel. Marion goes over to the door, yeah. and I'm assuming you open it. Yep. So as, I'm going to go back to Amos and Althea, as you're there arguing over the stretcher, Marion, you go inside or just look in? I'm going to go in. Yeah, Marion goes in. You both hear the sound of the door opening. Marion steps inside. Two of you are, like, arguing. Amos swings his what? sidearm. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hurry! We... Well, he's arguing with her. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> as Amos turns his attention to Marion... <laughs> um, ah. Elf... Althea, you open up the thing and the, the head is there again. Mm-hmm. Um, eyes straight forward again? Yeah, it's not focused up on you. Like yes. the eyes seem yeah. to have gone back to rest position. Okay. Um, I just want to do whatever type of role you need me to do very quickly to see if I can determine how old this wound is. Ah! This is when he tells me I'm going to need some test tubes and some blood No, like it, it, it could take a general <clears throat> amount of time, but... I will allow a roll for it. Um, if I don't determine it, then I don't determine no, it. No, it just means to get the exact time w- would take time. But to get a generalized timeline could just be a check. Um, generalized, yeah. Generalized time. I, I don't... I still think that would, could fall under forensics over medicine. I sort of look at medicine as the treatment of long-term injuries. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Or, or the theory of long-term Medication, injuries, right? Whereas, yeah, or... Or pharmacy, could you combine with that? Yeah, yeah. But where forensics is sort of like, how long has this body been dead? Yeah. Okay. What is that this? Is, that is forensics. That is, okay. that is actually Babies don't forensics. let me down. They're gonna let me down. You have luck to spend. Forty out of forty-one. <gasps> Damn! <you? laughs> you already have a tick in yes, forensics. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So you make it. That's, that's okay. really good. I'm glad you've made two forensic trolls because it's very seldom you actually get to make them, and that is like basically the concept of your character. Yeah. <laughs> so it it it, it, <laughs> it, it is nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, just give me one second as I check the Bible. Oh. What are you bibling about? 
Horrific uh, exactly thing. when this happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, w- it won't actually take me very long. I just need to. Did you shoot a cultist and I'm not thinking about it? No. That she knows about. So that. later on, I plan Stop. to ask her to try and Stop. remember something. <laughs> but I can't do it right now because we're in the middle of shenanigans. I don't it's recall weird. me <clears throat> shooting some. Okay, yeah, so fair enough. That's the <laughs> Okay, so you would estimate that this um, potentially, and because the, the body's a little bit different, um, it's harder to gauge, but quickly you would figure around a week, plus or minus a few days, around a week. Yeah. Oh, for, for the... Now that we have video, it's like every episode with my notes. Uh, I better not do that because you'll zoom in. <laughs> Bye, man. 1080p. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as basically as soon as I say hurry up and they don't start moving, I'm gonna walk towards them and just grab the gurney. Wait, you, 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 and you start haven't even had walking. a chance to not move yet. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying that that's what I'm going to do if you start moving and I'll meet you part way. Okay, so Mary, <laughs> as you and Amos are slightly just quick little rah, 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 because of the pointed weapon, and Althea pulls it open, very quickly, casual glance, gets oh, maybe around a week. That's just a guess. I know it would probably take longer, but yeah. to get the exact timing would yeah. be different. Mm-hmm. Cool. And as Marion starts walking Do you say it. that out loud? Maybe about a week? Yeah. Fantastic. Zip the fuck up and grab the gurney. Are you grabbing your shoulder at all? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not it is me. noticeably down. It will really hurt. Yeah, I'm going to use the other arm. If yeah. you start heading towards us, I'm actually going to put the, like, with the gun in my hand, but I'm going to, like, put the hand up and I point towards the... the Pulling, I assume, blood coming out of the door. Just move! Back, back get the move! Oh, shut up! And I just, just pull if the gurney. If you're not down. moving the gurney, I'm walking towards you. I'll it. repeat what I said again. I've grabbed the gurney and I'm yeah. heading towards you That's and I'm saying, stop, okay. blood, go! Okay. It's, it's what are you doing? Zipping it back. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. That was what I was waiting for. Going. Because, because here's the thing. I had this initial weird feeling that if this, this person, thing, whatever, person, ski, <laughs> is alive and putting I had that moment where I'm like do I want to put this person in a, in a furnace that is a fair point but then yes I'm like the gunshot wound to the where the top of the head is pretty much gone well yeah it's sort of like the top and back like it, the, the bullet wound would have entered in and then exploded more yeah. it's a process so, he's gonna experience anyway we're just expediting it well wow. my thing is is that he should already be dead right yeah, but I mean, stranger things have happened. He's yeah, in war! People fall out of airplanes and live. Rarely, but it happens. <laughs> Usually <laughs> fucked up, but it happens. People get shot in the head and live. It happens. But usually in the morgue, frozen in a refrigerator. <laughs> and where the top And, and, yeah, and skin like like. Yeah, but like usually bone. the brain is still like 90% intact yeah. when that happens. Well, it could be. Haven't, she hasn't ha- had water for more than a week. Let's be clear. Althea did not inspect the back of it. Don't you dare. <laughs> Just like the body at the near the admin side leaning his door was also not inspected. Okay, okay. We're moving. Yes, we're, we're still moving. We're moving. Okay, we're moving. but I'm going to do something all important. The gears in my brain are just moving while Because we're Agatha is alone outdoors. Yes. <laughs> right? Yep. Sure all three am. of you are inside. Mm-hmm. Sure am. Agatha? Yes. <laughs> I need you to roll me. It's going to be two checks. Okay. But first off, it's going to be a listen check. A listen. Okay. Yes. Don't die. <gasps> um, <laughs> 26 out of 74. Step in the right direction. So that's a hard, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. you put a ticket in to listen. So what you hear is around the corner, <coughs> mm-hmm. right? Um, well, you don't see it. This is just a listen check. You hear the sound of somebody moving. Okay. Yeah, you hear the sound of somebody moving, but it seems to be like the movement doesn't start really close to the corner. It's like off in the distance along the front of the building. Oh, like. But you hear the sound of somebody moving away, like away from your position from the front of the building. So, like, if you're here, and this is the front of the building, and you're here, Mm -hmm. you know, so that's the front, you hear a sound originate around here moving this way. Right. Okay. Okay. What would you like to do? Uh, I knew you were going to ask me this. I'm actually going to go around the corner and try to shoot a person. I don't want to kill. I want to stop. 
Doesn't we will see. Yeah, I know. So what, That's happens, the problem. Is, so what happens, though, is as you swing around the building, yeah, oh, fuck. right? Okay, yeah. There's this big flash of light. Okay. In, in, in your eyes. Uh -huh. I need you to roll me a percentage first. Oh, no. Okay. Just I want to see what the percentage is. Uh, uh, 65. Okay, so you're sort of temporarily blinded. Okay. By this great flash of light <coughs> in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Like almost like a bulb went off. Like a... Like a photograph. Like the like a photograph. Okay. As you come around the front of the oh, no! office. Oh, no! It's like this flash bulb right in your eyes. I'm assuming now you, you, you Zach, are a photographer. That would be blinding, would it not? Like well, disorienting. It's three in the morning and you're not ready for it? It can be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you go temporarily blind. So you can't see anything. Like it's blurry. Like you're disoriented. Yeah. Did you still want to try to squeeze off a shot? No. <laughs> I can't oh, believe God, I don't know. You oh, what you you know? Know? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> why are you with us? That. Why do we keep? Why do we take this demon around? She's the psychologist. She's supposed to be the sensible one. You could have ended that parents. word at psycho and left it. You the ologist is gone. No. You don't need to justify to anybody. No, you don't. You're not. Sure we're not you know. there. We're not there. We're not. There. Uh, we're just okay, we're I'm gonna just... say the logical reason. If I can't see, it means I don't know if they're aiming at me. So I'm going to say I'm going to duck back behind the corner. Yeah, because so, yeah, basically the point I'm trying to make is also because you're disoriented when you came around and you jump back a bit from the shock of it. Yeah. You're not even, you're disoriented, so you're not really sure even which way you're facing. You know what I mean? Okay. Very quickly. Yeah, yeah. But uh, if you want to go back around a corner, I can very simply say you just try to grab the build. Like, you mean you can follow the building back around because you had just stepped out. If I'm you gonna want to go back. I'm going to say my instinct would be, oh my God, one of my senses is gone. I need to go somewhere to recover. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly, and I'm willing to allow that without a check. Okay. Right? Yeah. As you, like, you know what I mean? Because you had just stepped out and you step back and it, it's taking, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to step away from you for a second <laughs> and then go to, you know, the rest of the Scooby gang. Um, so yeah, uh, Amos and Marion, uh, or Amos. We heard a gunshot. What was up with the gunshot? Uh, yeah, okay, as you're walking the last few feet, did you want to answer that? Have we gone to the door yet? No. We have to make it to the door first. We're I'm coming towards you. Go forward and open the door. Okay, so Marion opens up the door. You... No gunshot, okay. I'm going to peek. Do I see anything? Is there anywhere to hold this door open? So, oh, um... Ask you two questions. You can answer whichever one you want. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you, were in, you were in a sassy mood today. <laughs> I don't like being rude. I'm pretty <laughs> sure, I don't even remember if you guys left these doors open. But anyway, we're just going to say they I were closed anyway. I don't think we did because... No, we, we noticed that there is a method of latching them open with the pins in the ground. Exactly. But we didn't use them. Yeah, and the doors in the hallway leading into it, the double doors, was like attached to the hooks on the wall. Yeah. That's what it was. Um, and I believe the doorways into the morgue, they were propped open, but the outside door wasn't. Either way, it doesn't matter if it was, that's what it is now. <sighs> So yes, the doors can be, you okay. lean down and I'm assuming you're gonna yep. prop you know, that side open. And what was the other question? And I'm gonna peek over around the side of the door mm. just, just to see if I see anyone. So right off the bat, you don't see Agatha, but just as you're looking at the corner, you see like this flash of light coming from that. And then you see Agatha quickly come back around the corner sort of with her hand on her eye. Eye. Eye, yeah. Yes, 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 hand on, on the eye. <clears throat> come around the corner and just seem disoriented from like a flash of light around the front of the building. That's what you see. Uh, I'm going to grab the gurney mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to look at, at, at Amos and say, Agatha might need help. I don't see the, sh I don't see the shooter, but keep an eye out. I've got this. And I'm just going to start pulling it. And then you two with the gurney. I'm going to do fantastic. Let the two pass. Then I'm going to start heading towards, sure. towards Agatha. And I'm assuming you're going to stay on the head end of the stretcher and you're pulling from the front end. Oh yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to, we're going to, break into a jog. Mm -hmm. and, I, uh, I did just notice, and because we have video, that you were doing this. Yeah. So I'm going to have you make me a constitution roll. Okay. Your shoulder That's is fucked. That's true. My shoulder is fucked. <laughs> so you weren't thinking about it. I was not it, thinking you, about it. And you grab it. Panicked. Yeah. Uh, understandable. Just a constitution check. The seed to... 40 out of 75. Yeah, I know. You're, you're quite, your constitution is quite good. Mm -hmm. um, so this does... This uh, shock of pain comes through your arm, and you sort of... Ah, drop it. You notice, Althea, like this, as, as uh, Marion is pulling on the stretcher, it's like, uh, Man, Marion, what's wrong? 
Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll deal with it later. I should not be with me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Marion whispers and says, Don't worry about it! <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can whisper, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, because of the thingy. <laughs> the tech, the thingy. It could be anything. Um, and basically blocking your pathway sort of to the door. Not really blocking the, the I'm going to say the car is up enough. Like, you don't really need to go around the mm-hmm. car to bring stretch time. I'm assuming um, Althea and Marion are sort of rushing over to the crematorium. Yes. Is that accurate? Yes. Yep. Fair exactly. enough. Okay. As you're going across, and then as you step out, you already have your sidearm out, and you see Agatha like covering her eye. Um, and you're going toward Agatha. You in particular need to make me a spot hidden. Uh, Amos, because there will be a list of people. There, there, there will still be audio. Fourteen. Really good. Yeah, you already have a ticking spot hidden, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you notice at the hospital. The wall of the hospital that's facing the morgue, so there's a pile of windows. And up on a higher floor, in two distinct points, down between the buildings, where right now Althea is pushing the stretcher, Marion is pulling the stretcher, Agatha's on the side, and you're out with a gun from the building. You see flashes of cameras. Oh god. From the hospital floor, taking pictures in your location. Do you understand? Like, you can see the flash bulbs go off. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. They had those? Yeah. Oh, um, no, I'm assuming, I'm assuming cameras would work. You could still take a picture. It'd be grainy as hell. But you could still take one, couldn't you? You could still take a picture. Not it, at, at night, they won't be able to see it. How far away is it? Are we... Because there is. Huh. Remember you're saying that people could poke, poke holes in some, some science? <laughs> those cameras, I could poke holes in your science there. The, how far away? How far? Oh, it's a, it's a fair distance. They won't see nothing. Not, not at night. Not unless there's sunlight. Either way, that is what you see. Uh, well, that sucks. Overall, that is what you see. Mm, fuck! You do not know what tech they have. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna have a No, no, but it's good to know. It's good to know. Yes, yes. It's good to know. Because that's what Amos knows. Yeah. Yeah, uh, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, and Amos knows that too because you have photography. But the issue is that you do see flash bulbs going off as if pictures are being taken, and you're like, well, that makes no sense because they wouldn't be able to see us, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Fine. Yeah, exactly. Can I make a photography roll? I have the skill. And well, for what, though? It is it. Are they photo bulbs? Flashes going up? Would I know to make that roll? Oh, make a photography roll. Make a the pho- only times I can actually make, <laughs> make a I've been roll. trying to make photo make rolls for the entire campaign. Make a photography roll. Nah, oh. it doesn't matter. 77 out of 40. Oh. <laughs> That's no fucking way. Uh. <laughs> I tried. That was going to be the easy way for me to solve the issue. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do see as if Cam- as pictures are being taken, but in your mind you're like, well, it's impossible to- for them to be taking pictures of us. But it seems to be in your direction. Anyway. I'm assuming it's like security, like noticing us. So I'm gonna get up to like that would be that would be the first assumption that I'm thinking of. Like, police well, there is gunshots gone off. Yeah. Well. Or a a, a or a the sound of a, a single shot. So I'll butt up right next to you and be like, what the fuck? You're disoriented. Yeah. But like, I mean. <clears throat> yeah, just the just the eye and be like. I don't, what is going, I went around the corner and I just got blinded. Uh, I'm going to grab her, kind of put her in the back and then start backing up with the gun, uh, but backing away from the corner in case something comes around the corner to shoot at us. <laughs> How long does it take for the, um, the you know, the flash shadow in my eye to go? Mm, I, I'm going to simply, uh, at this point, I'm just going to have you roll a constitution roll at the moment. I think that would be good enough. Just a constitution roll. Just, I mean, 23 out of 70? Bad. 23 out of 70, I'm going to say it just takes a couple of rounds. Then. Okay. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, just going to take you, you know, a few seconds to... So you're disoriented, you can see blurry, blah, 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 but, mm-hmm. you know, it's not like permanent damage, no. you're not going to be blind right. for the night, but it seems like it's clearing up quite quick, is my point. Uh, we heard a gunshot. Was that you? What happened? Thanks. Like, we're... No. That's not what I meant, but yeah. <laughs> Um, 
I, it wasn't me. There was somebody there. Marion got hit. Is she okay? That's what I meant. Did you get... She looked like she wasn't shot. It was very, very quick. So we're, we're kind what of I have seen, the backup. What I have seen... Because you said it was like a flare gun. Would I have seen like a light that had hit her or no? No, because... Uh, it was a dud, right? That's what we had. Well, it wasn't, it's not that it was a dud, um, but it didn't affect you. You were sitting in the vehicle working on your rifle, so you didn't see Really see anything. Then, I yeah. just knew that she got hit. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think there's a, there a roll and you didn't pass it. Okay. Or even even if, even, yeah, it's, it's, it's over. Yeah. Not over yeah. In, in that respect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna, I'm going to kind of back us up towards the car face in the end of the hall. Well, did, did he go this way? He went around the corner. I think he kept it going down. That's why I went around the corner, but then I got blinded. I don't know what it was. And up close flash. I'll stop pushing us back, and I'll just say, stay between the car and the door that, that they just ran into. And I'll go up to the corner, um, keeping the gun back, and I'm going to kind of like just take a look and then back again. Fair enough. Um, you go up to the corner and you just quickly, you don't need to roll anything. Okay. You just quickly stick your head around. You do not see anybody. And then you put your head back in very quickly, just in case. But you're like, look out, you don't see anybody in front of the building. As you stick your head out, can you roll me a, actually, I'm going to have you roll me a lesson check. 25 and 78. You already have a ticket lesson, I'm assuming. I do, yes. Um, you hear the distant sound of sirens. Yeah, distant. So it, so it is secure. Yeah, it does make sense. Okay, it's that's distant. Right, right, right. It's not at the hospital. It's like distant sound of silence. All right. Um, still holding onto the gun, but a little, little more relaxed in a way. I'll start running back towards, towards you and be like, uh, I think Stella's out the fucking window. We just need to burn the body and get the fuck mm-hmm. out now. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm gonna stop both of you right there. And I'm gonna go over to you guys. Mm-hmm. As this was happening, mm-hmm. you burst into the crematorium hallway. Mm-hmm. Jogging down the hallway, or going and you go right quickly. to the end. Yep. Um, and there's like a, a roller with a tray. It sounds weird to put it that way, but mm-hmm. you know what I mean. And then um, it's sort of you can hear the sound of a generator. It's sort of mm-hmm. you know it, it's heated up. I'm not sure exactly how that works. I, I actually understand now how crematoriums work, but this process, <laughs> because of the way I started it, was the system is is running mm-hmm. and is ready to go. Um, you're there with the stretcher on the body. What would you like to do? Shove the body into the crematorium. Okay, so onto the tray just, to push into. Yep. Just go. I just start. Start. I just. I just. Yeah. So like, you, although with one yeah. arm trying to okay, don't push the there. body off, it's hard. No, we don't have time. We have to get this done. Since when are you? I just start pushing. breaking into and burning bodies. I start pushing. Okay. 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 <laughs> Okay, I need Marion to roll me a luck roll. Yep. Oh, shit! <laughs> ah! Marion versus Althea? When, when did this happen? 49 out of 53. <laughs> 49 out of 53. Okay, um, what happens, though, is because the stretcher isn't directly alongside that tray, because mm-hmm. you need to move the body over, and you start pushing the body with one arm, yep. the stretcher tips... <gasps> but it catches on the corner, so it doesn't completely tip over onto the ground, but it sort of catches on the corner, so it's on a bit of an angle. Like it's on two wheels, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Against the the conveyor, if you will. That sounds horrible. But you know what I mean. Yeah, the, roll yeah, the rollers. rollers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of like, yeah, and that, that's where it at. <sighs> I'm just gonna be doing what I can to get this body on the tray one-handed. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm very simple. Yeah, actually, what I'm going to say is as you push it in the tips, you grab it with your good arm mm-hmm. and you're holding it from falling down. Yeah. You can't do anything else because if you let go, it it's going to fall to the ground. Help me. Althea. We don't have time. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm just going to go and I'm going to take a hold of it like yeah you're gonna, and i'm gonna you get on the other it, side and then you yes, take a hold and lift it and lift it up onto Strength the check please to the conveyor thing Strength check, please. because we have to lift it now we can't just shift it over <laughs> now it has to be lifted yes yeah, strength check that's what i asked for it's not gonna be good. you can do this you can do this <laughs> <laughs> so 
Oh my. I got a 53. Oh. <laughs> Out of 50. Oh, we're a three luck. You're fine. How much luck do you have? Oh come oh, on! Oh, burn four! Listen, come on! Listen, when I four. when I burn three, to, you burn three. Yeah. When I burn luck, it usually has to be ten at a time. <laughs> so this is a, this is a so good day. So this is a blessing. Yeah. Just burn it and the luck. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll burn the luck. Yeah. Just because I don't want it to tip to the floor. You burn three luck to make it a forty-nine. No, no. Uh, is it meter beat? To make it, it a fifty. You just need to meet it. Okay. Yeah. So what, what did you roll? Uh, I rolled a 53 out of 50. 53 out of 50. Yeah. Okay, so you burn three luck. And uh, it's like it almost as you're <gasps> pulling it. My luck's at 69. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you for listening to The Call. Our next episode will air Tuesday, October 18th, with Spacers, our sci-fi podcast, awaiting us all to get back together again for recording more episodes. Please leave us a review in your podcast app of choice, and visit our main website for merch and Kofi information. As usual, we'd love to thank our donators over on Kofi, including Josea, Lindraska, Tavin, Eden, Flynn, Flatted Fifth, Noah, Alex B, Rosa, Tyler, James, Noobs, D Devil, Eleven Ninety Three, Kurt, and Alec. Thank you all so much. Music and ambient tracks licensed through Triune Films and Artlist, and your players for tonight were Elizabeth Wells, Janessa Coles, Lindsay Delansky, and Zach Barrett. Your audio operator and video operator was Rob Hickey, and your GM, or keeper, was Derek Snow. Have a great night, everyone, and we'll see you next time.